Good morning, everybody, and Shavua Tov. Hope you all have a wonderful week. I just want to continue along with the very important topic that we've been discussing last week, and that is the topic of prayer. And specifically, this idea that I think we have a misunderstanding. Maybe this can be a little bit of a paradigm shift. I think there's a misunderstanding about prayer. We think prayer is sometimes about getting the thing that we are praying for. And the truth is, it's the exact opposite. The thing that we're praying for is just there to elevate us and to encourage us to pursue the relationship with God. In other words, God holds certain things back from us so that we will pursue the relationship. And in that sense, no prayer is wasted because even if I don't end up getting that thing that I'm praying for, whatever it is, the healing or the livelihood or the wisdom or the new Tesla or whatever it is that I'm praying for, even if I don't get it, that's not the point. The point was not getting the thing. That's secondary. The point is that a relationship is developed through me approaching God, recognizing God as the source of everything, and pouring out my heart and sharing with my infinite creator what it is that I need and desire. So there's a really good example from in the Torah for this. And that is the famous, very famous story about the snake in the Garden of Eden. Now we know that the snake enticed Eve to eat from the tree of knowledge of good and evil, and then she did, and she went and gave to her husband to eat. And the snake is punished for this, his, for the, his role in, the, uh, in this episode. And the punishment of the snake, one of the punishments of the snake, is that God tells the snake, you will crawl on the ground and you will eat from the dirt or the dust of the earth. Now, granted, dirt does not taste all that good. But one thing about eating dirt is that you're never going to go hungry. There's plenty of dirt everywhere. So the commentaries ask the question, how is that a curse? Basically, what God has just done has to is he's told the snake, you will never, ever, ever be hungry. You'll never need anything and you'll never want anything. So how is that a curse? So it's exactly what we're talking about. You understand? Life is about a relationship with the infinite creator. It's about connecting to the infinite creator. Just like when you send your kid off to college, you send them off to college. If you give them a, a bank account that's going to cover them for the year, you may not hear from them all year. But if you only give them what they need for a week or two at a time, you'll hear from them every couple weeks. So God was basically saying to the snake, he's saying, look, we're done. You and I are done. Here is a credit card with an unlimited credit balance. Go enjoy your life. You and I are disconnected. And by giving him abundance and, and plenty and saying you'll never ever be hungry, it guarantees that the snake will never turn to his creator and express his needs because there will be no needs. So in an ironic sense, the twist is that the curse is that you'll have everything and I'll hold nothing back from you. And therefore, it follows that when God holds something back from us, it's a blessing because it allows us to turn to God and pour out our heart to him. That's a beautiful idea. Think about it a little bit, and we'll talk more about prayer as the week goes on. Have a great day, everybody, and Shavuot Tov.